So, the high quality, the high So, I suggest the content should be should be suitable with the title. Jadi, saya melihat di sini tidak ada tujuan yang untuk sampai ke sini, tidak ada yang menyinggung tentang uh, apa namanya ini, pemakaian teknologi digital, for example. But I don't know whether how to organize that. Okay. Uh, just now we heard from Wadetiga, she support these activities, but I don't know how much. Berapa besar, bro? Nanti bicara tersendiri dengan Ibu Wadetiga itu. Memang Ibu Wadetiga ini ringan tangan untuk membantu pada kegiatan-kegiatan seperti ini. Nah, kalau udah tanya, nggak usah ditanya. Itu ya, oke. Right. Uh, I hope that these activities can be done well from from Thursday, twenty nine November twenty two up to twenty December. 22, ya, ya kan? 29 sampai 20 Desember ya, kegiatannya. For the, for class B, Wednesday, 30 November, 22, 2022, 21 Desember, 2022. So, we hope these activities can be done well. We pray for, God, for our God that uh, all of us can be blessed. We'll be open officially. Thank you very much. And this chance I need to coordinate. Well, thank you for the remarks from the Dean and I apologize for my mistake. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we are entering to the panel discussion. Please welcome our moderator, Asnini Junita Zai. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Once again, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Yahoo. Yahoo. Thank you for the time that you've given to us, uh, to me. The first, I want to introduce myself. My name is Asini Junita Zai, as moderator in this event. So, before we start our session of panel discussion today, the Honorable, the Diantas Executor of Faculty of Teaching and Education of the Universitas Nias. Good morning, sir. The Honorable, the third vice Diantas Executor of Faculty of Teaching and Education of Universitas Nias. Good morning, ma'am. The Honorable, the Chair Task Executor of English Education Study Program. Good morning, sir. The Honorable, the Lecturer of Public Speaking. The Honorable, the Speakers and Panelists. Good morning, sir and miss. The Honorable, the Chief of Board of Administration of Student Association of Internal English Education Study Program. The Honorable, the Committee of Seminar or Panel Discussion
question of class A. The, the courageous, eager, and intelligent audience. Please give us Graduate. And the last 
in 2022 is considered in maintaining the extension of accreditation rating with the total score still the same. All of this was possible because of the persistence, tenacity, and support from the lecturers who, re who really loves Miss Yana. Let's give a plan. So in this session, if that is the case, we'll just give time to deliver the material from the first panelist, Mr. Edward Harepa. Let's give a plan. So all the excellencies, allow me to stand in front of you. So, so thank you so much for the time that uh, given to me. So I'm so honored to meet you in a person all. So this is our first meeting probably maybe um, you never seen me before, right? Yes, okay. So as the Miss Tiana said first, but I just being the part of University of in July 2022 this year. So I just four months are working in here. Okay. Even though the moderator already introduced me uh, in advance, but I would like to introduce my first personality. My name is Edward Harefa, and in my daily base, I serve as a uh, lecturer in the Department of Elementary School Teacher Education on Universitas Nias. And my students usually call me Sir Evan. Okay, so, and my research interests, of course, science education. Virtual laboratories, virtual and augmented reality, and other educational technologies. Okay. Okay, before I start my speech for today, let us um, see uh, this video. I hope, I hope you can uh, hear the uh, video sound because I don't have it, we don't have any speaker in here. So this is uh, the neural detector uh, that implemented, that already implemented in China. So uh, this is what I have learned in China, and usually many schools already implemented uh, the neural detector because the teacher wants to know uh, whether the students uh, concentrate and give uh, their heart to uh, listen uh, the teacher's uh, explanation. So China is very, very as eager. China is a bit uh, eager to uh, implement all the artificial intelligence in aspect of their lives. So uh, the government of China has the special fund uh, to implement and make an integration 
teaching of technology in primary no, not in primary, starting from the kindergarten, primary until the higher education. Yeah, this is a new one that up. So there is a um, color detector, so if you focus, so the red color will appear. So the sensor, the electrical sensor for our brain will deliver to the teacher's computer so the teachers can track whether the students still have any concentrate uh, to his or her explanation. And also, um, the, the, teaching, uh, the teaching activities and students' performance can be sent directly to their parents anywhere they are. So as uh, the committee told me before that I obligated to share to you about the implementation of technology in elementary schools, junior high schools, and rural area. So, so which one of you in here will think that technology always refers to internet? Technology always refers to internet. But we find a bit of it in the day. Technology doesn't always refer to internet. But internet is the part of technology. So let's see first the definition of technology. What is technology? So if you use Oxford Dictionary, so we will see that technology is a practice of the application of scientific knowledge for particular purposes or machinery that can ease the humans or the human's task in everyday life. So once again, technology doesn't always refer to internet. The second one, the research from the John Aguirre in 2018 stated the same from the Oxford Dictionary that technology refers to remote systems and devices which are the result of scientific knowledge being used for practical purposes. And Lash and Carroll in 2017 reported as well that technology has a certain materials or physical component as manifested by the plethora of community, sorry, of, of having a great output examples that surround us in the physical world. So, my MacBook, the projectile, the smartphone, that's the example of the technology. Virtual reality doesn't need internet, augmented reality doesn't need internet. So, once again, you have to make up your mind the misconception in here that technology doesn't always refer to internet. So, if we are talking about the technology, we have to learn first the information of educational technology or the implementation technology and education. And before in uh, 19th century, Usually, the learning is, has related to their philosophy. What the meaning of this nature, you see the nature, so you will see the meaning of this life. So if you know about the Aristotle, the Plato, so they always see the nature, they are see, always see what the meaning of this nature. 
So we learn from that. So after the 19th century, specifically in 1960s, so there is a involved in educational technology. So start the school starting using blackboard, pen, paper. Maybe in before 19, they use you know the people writing on the ropes, right? So in after 19th century, people start using uh, blackboard, pen, papers, and moving next, we are using telephone, audios, and then uh, television, visuals, and computer. You know about computer assisted learning, language learning, or C A C A W L four. And what now we are facing is the implementation or the integration of virtual reality, or maybe the due to the COVID nineteen, there are so many massive online open courses that's free that you can access when, whenever you are, where, wherever you are. So. You, as an English teacher, that maybe you want to serve in elementary schools or junior high schools, five things that you should be consider when you are using the technology. Firstly, is relevance. Okay, the, uh, the first thing is relevance. Relevance, I know when you, be, you are preparing the lesson plan, you have a learning goal, goals, right? Yes. When you're making the curriculum, the school making the curriculum, you have the goals. So please kindly choose which the technology that can enhance your learning goals. The second one is navigation. So technology must be easy to use for your students. The third one is customization. So the technology that you implement, you are going to use in your class must be customized, can be customized uh, from your students. They can be set whenever they want, like making a storybook, making the animation. There are so many application program, instrumentation that you can teach your students uh, or English um, language. The fourth is interaction. So, Learning media is a, just a tool. So please be focused. You, as a teacher, you have to control that. So please don't um, the technology dominate your class because technology is a just uh, is just a tool to make you uh, more easy to explain something abstract thing to your students. So don't make the technology dominate. The class. And the last one is accessibility. We all know that today, Indonesian government, especially Ministry of Education, they always promote the inclusive education. Because today, our education is very inclusive. Because we cannot, we can't um, accept the people who need special needs. We can't gather them. But from now on, the Ministry of always promote the, the inclusive education. We have to gather for the people who need special needs. So if you if you have the students, uh, usually this is elementary school or junior high school, there is a students of uh, uh, special needs. So you have to consider whether the technology can accommodate all the time of the students. Okay, for your English teaching, I would like to I highly recommend some of um, this program for you. There are Quizlet, so you can make fresh up from that, especially for first grade and third grade. Usually they need to more uh, vocabularies. Because when you ask me, people always ask me what the first thing you suggest us when learning English. I did definitely share to them you have to master vocabularies. Because if you don't have any plethora, abundance of vocabularies, so what you you are going to say in English? Right? 
So after you master all the vocabularies, so you can move on to the grammar, tenses, and animal. Okay. There is a free game based. GoCorn.com, Pixel and Mountain. I do really highly recommend this as well. So you can make an animation or a storyboard using comic. Moreover, there's a word it out and you know Duolingo. Duolingo. Duolingo some in international university, USA and UK and also in China uh, starting required uh, the international students or the uh, local students um, to pass some tests in Duolingo. So Duolingo tests can be replace the test of IELTS or TOEFL for now. Okay. Okay. Because this is our technology uh, discussion, let me give you a short demo. Can I? Okay, this is a quizlet. You just log in and you can, you can just register with your Google or Facebook or any uh, option not to register. Quizlet.com. So this can be uh, your idea for your undergraduate thesis in the future. And then, after that, you can click the create in here. Create. Create and then uh, study test and then make the, like a sample for categories. So this is, for example, I already made it. In here. So the first grade students in elementary school want to know. They know in Indonesia this is apple, but they don't know what in English. Yeah. When you make this image, upload the image, and this is the flash card. So in the reality flash card, there is a picture, and behind uh, the cards, there is the name in English, the name of uh, the picture image. So just flip the card. And then flip again, you find the picture. And there are many more things. What is this? What is this? Uh, uh, for example, maybe you want to use this for your undergraduate thesis. That's very interesting. And I always use this for my students in the Department of Elementary School teacher as well. So, 
usually if you come to the rural area, we can't use technology that has related to the internet. You like it or not, you have to make the learning media based on the instrumentation, based on the electronic code. You like it or not. Because rural area have not usually have not a good internet access. But in an urban area, they have money, sufficient facilities, and many more. So like this, if you are asking, if you asking me to go to the SOC Nias, Nia Salatan, and I teach them, I can use technology, yes, I can use technology by using like the instrumentation, I'm making the Arduino Uno, I type the Arduino Uno, um, using English to more, like using the first time. So usually, and also, our government, I know our government in Indonesia have accommodate and give funding to the rural area. I know they have a special funding for that. Like uh, they provide the laptops projected. So you can maximize of, uh, uh, facilities that already gave by uh, the local government. Okay, that's all my sharing session today. And to end my session, I would like to highlight that technology is just a tool. Technology can't replace teachers' role in the classroom. And if you have many, so many advanced, sophisticated, sophisticated technologies, but if you can't master it, the technology will be a useless thing. Okay. If you have so many advanced, sophisticated technology, if you can master it, you can how to operate it, the technology will be useless. I make one very far and thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you for the extraordinary uh, panelists today. Once more again, let's give applause. The, the discussion about the technology from the first panelist and be, before we are uh, next in the session answer and questions we are give the time from our second panelist Miss Yasmina Telapanula
by technology. So I think that everyone join this panel discussion, you already understood about that one. That technology that is a lot of knowledge between works, tools, materials, and also systems. So in our sphere, that there is something, yeah, there is something, uh, there is something of practical activity that could be done by human in order that it can produce a certain product, a certain product. So this is related to English teaching and learning and era of 4.0 and also society 5.0. So the others you can search from the other sources. Now, the second point, because that in this slide that I have already divided in some subtopics related to the influence of technology on English teaching and language. And then the second that is about what is English teaching and learning. So exactly in my side that every time when you go to campus, you conduct about learning the same or together with the teacher or the lecturer or the teacher at university. So some for example activities done in the classroom it is about teaching and learning process. So when the lecturer or when the teacher for example teaches about English, so it is about English teaching and learning. So we can conduct about some activities in the teaching and learning process. So when you focus for example for the course it is about English, so it is said about English teaching and learning. So you see in this country, 1.0 is 
thank you for the first panelist and the second panelist to show us the material is very important today and now we must uh, we must have uh, we must we have time to discuss about the material and we i give the time only 10 minutes to do, do the two minutes only 20 minutes only to give the session question and answer so if you have a question raise your hand and introduce yourself you directly answer as for the panelists transition oh, all right very very stand up please
question is uh, what are the challenges of the digital using technology in the era of 4.0? Oh, My question is what the, what are the challenges of the teacher using technology in the era of 4.0?
as a tool to achieve the standard of achievement already decided by a certain curriculum. The problem is many incidents happen in the teaching learning process. So, in relation to the question, how to overcome the problem to make balance of using technology in English teaching and learning? In other words, that I would like to make to to simplify that. So we leave the traditional concept and we go directly to technology or not. So here is I just want to like to recall your memory when I came to your classroom. I mean, in the last semester. We ourselves, before we enter the classroom, usually everybody must be ready. Ready in preparing self. How? You have to learn before coming to the classroom. Learning coming to the classroom, you have to get a lot of references. Where do you get the references? Where do you get the references? You can search from technology tools. For example, like you are using Telegram. When you are using Telegram, many things can be done there. You can send, you can upload, you can do a lot of things. And everybody at home should prepare themselves before coming to the classroom. When coming to the classroom, particularly for my class, I do not know about the other lecturers, because that I have a certain purpose to achieve the target already decided in a certain curriculum. So everybody, usually, I do not allow you to open any tools. Why? Do you think that it is a kind of Punishment. Do you think that it is a kind of uh, to make you, for example, uh, not to have some progression? I do not mean to that. Australian do. Australian people do the same thing. When coming to the classroom, you are not alone. Except when the course, when the lesson, it is about ICT course. But for the other courses, the other lessons, yeah, they do not belong. So why? Why? To keep the concentration span. Why? Because sometimes when you are using your mobile phone, when you are using other tools, exactly, you try to focus on seeing a certain related to our topic. But suddenly coming the new things. When coming the new things, what are you going to do? Sometimes you are trapped. I would like to see this. I would like to watch this. Because my lecturer is busy listening to the other students. So this is keep controlling the students' activities under the supervision of the lecturer or the teacher. So, that is one of the ways that we have already do that. Now, here also, I have already uh, put here this is the subtopic. What are recommendations on how to handle technology in a way that will not be threatening to students? In other words, that you are not, yeah, you are not under the control of technology, but you have to control the technology tools. In other words, that you have to consider your time. In what time that you have to use the tools? Is it a proper time? Why? Because based on the research done 
by some researchers in vocational school and also senior high school, they found that when students, for example, too much to interact with technology tools, what will happen? Something happened with the brains. I do not know whether you ever noticed when you just try to search from internet, some people get crazy. Some students get low achievement. Why? Because every day is technology. So don't let yourself to be controlled by technology tools, but you yourself can control the technology. In a proper time that you can use it, but in unsuitable time, please don't use it. Because not only one aspect, not only one aspect that can be handled in our own life many aspects of life that we have to struggle in order that we can achieve a certain achievement. So, this is related to a very Paris question. And then, here that I would like to tell you also that some recommendations about the technology. Making sure learners to interact with each other even when immersed in their digital world. In the proper time. Devices and activities which necessarily promote communication and collaboration. All this one also in a proper time. Sharing and comparing like workforce, classroom projects and some others, activities that can be done in the teaching learning process to see how technology can connect learners all around the world. And always this one in a proper time. And encouraging their service students to design interactive content that will enrich the course always in a proper time. So that is the answer from your questions. So what I have already told you this is applicable because we have already done. And the second question, this is from, I will forget your name. Okay, what are the challenges for using technology of the for 4.0 and society 5.0? Exactly, just now they already prepared here also. The challenges. This is the challenge. What's happening in the classroom? Teachers. Yeah. Lack of training. How can the students, for example, learn from the teacher how to use technology tool? I don't know exactly what's happening with you when you are when you are learning. Yeah, in pandemic at the time, COVID-19, perhaps that one, two teacher just send you the material via WhatsApp. And then no teaching learning process again. But just make appointment at one o'clock you have to submit your paper. So you might find that it doesn't work. What is it for? Now, so this is lack of training. But Generation of Z exactly are more brilliant than the previous generation. Why? Because you can learn it is a kind of pedagogy. Yeah, didactic. You can learn by your own self, self-independent learning. And then lack of software. Now, just now, the first panel is already talking. Some kinds of math. This is April, this is this, this is this. Is. So do you think that we have the same, the similar software? I don't think so. Because when the company produces the tools, it will be different quality. So when different quality, what's happening? Lack of software. And many other tools that can support, for example, how to success to use technological tools in the classroom, in the teaching learning process. So this is also the challenge. The same thing when you are seniors that who are joining now in terms of two, they say to us, and also the previous generation, they talk to us, they share to us, we didn't use anything tools in the classroom. Why? Because there is no anything, this one, there is no anything, there is no anything in a rural area. And then lack of competence. If the teachers, if the students, yeah, if the teachers, for example, lack of competence, what will happen? The more, for example, the students don't have a competence. Why? Because the expectation is that teachers can teach far better. 
shed better. And the last is lack of material and time. No things to be discussed, no subject to be discussed, no topic to be discussed, and no time also for discussion. So what will happen? That is, yeah, these are some challenges in uh, using about technology. I think that's all. Perhaps there's some additional information can be shared by the first panelists. Thank you. 
ownership of 21st century skills. Because I think that's more specific, specific for our uh, English teacher. But 21st century skills, you like it or not, you have to integrate the technology in your teaching. But most of the problem in technology is the future teacher are technologically illiterate. Why? You know, even in my friends in here, they don't prefer, prefer to use technology. They limit themselves to use technology because using technology is such a burden for them. But if you are now having the mindset, you limit yourself using technology in your class, trust me, you will be perish. You know, Pertamina are currently starting using barcode, QR code to pay. You can, you can see in the comments. There's a QR code there, and when my parents see some of our, our writers paid using QR code, and after my parents went back to the home, he, he asked me about that. There is something of fear on that. How can I create that? I, I can't do that. Why the government use the technology? I can't do that. So that's a question. I always want to confidence my parents that no, you can't do that. Please don't limit yourself. Because why, 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 why? So the future teachers from now on, they are technologically illiterate because they limit yourself. This the the internal uh, aspect. If we are talking about the external aspect, of course, that's the funding, the training, that's the problem. But one thing through this panel discussion discussion for today, how many of you in here? I believe one percent in here have a smartphone. When you are having a smartphone, are you a smart person as well? Let us spend on you. It's, we, I'm not talking about the product, Android, Apple, or whatever. But how you can literate, not illiterate. So starting from now on, ask yourself, whether I already optimize the technology in my daily life. We are not asking you to implement first in English teaching, but have you really acquainted with this, your smartphone first? Have you really optimized the use of smartphone in your learning? You can take notes. You can, when, when you are going to um, make a um, discussion to your lecturer, you can record that. Not just writing. For me, actually, I'm using in my class, I'm using paperless. Just send uh, to the Google Drive, upload that. I, I don't uh, receive any paper. So, that's the most problem, actually. Most of the future teacher. You are the future teacher, English, future English teacher. Are you technologically literate or illiterate? Ask yourself. The second question from Asini about the difference of implementation of technology in China and in Asia. You know that China is not a developed country, but there are developed countries, same like Indonesia. Mereka bukan negara maju. They are still considering as negara berkembang. You know that. 
we should not know about this. But why the, we see them as the developed countries? Because we can't um, um, monopoly. But China is a growing economy, fast economy, disappears. So China has a special funding to support research and education from starting from kindergarten until higher education. But other than Indonesia, in Indonesia actually we have 20% from our government expenditure, APBN. That's the most um, biggest expenditure that uh, in the uh, in government of Indonesia use. But how about the implementation, guys? I don't know about that. There are so many, yeah, we, you know about that. That's a big problem, actually. So if you're asking me about the implementation of technology in elementary education, like I said before, it doesn't always relate it to internet. In my situation, when I broke my cell phone to school, the real rate from the school, the teacher will rate, the teacher will take my phone. You are not alone to bring your cell phone. But today, in the developed country, they they are alone. To, the students are alone to bring their cell phone. Because in Indonesia, there are still so many teachers don't trust the students. But how about you? For me, in my side, I allow my students to bring the cell phone. But there is some limitation. Maybe you can make a cupboard, a cupboard for them to collect the cell phone. Because most of them in Jakarta, Medan, or any um, urban areas, the elementary teachers or junior arts, or the elementary students or junior high schools usually will order Grab or Gojek um, to take them to take them to home. Because maybe the, their parents is so easy, so they can pick them up. So the school cannot, the school can't link, um, prohibit it, the students to. Uh, bring uh, the, the, uh, the cell phones. So, if you are alone with your students, please make the time when they come, they can use, and when they can't use. Usually, for me, when I teach in the rural area, most of the students in the rural area, the students have their cell phone. You know, they, they have their cell phone. But I make the cupboard. So when we are going to start our class. Please collect your cell phone there. But when are we using uh, the cell phone for our materials to explain, you can take it. And then please place it again if we are not using that. Moreover, if you are, once again, if you are, have you know internet access to the rural area, please, you have to learn the instrumentation and electronically, because Let's talk a lot of research. Uh, how the, um, the technology can impact on the school actually. So that's why I always uh, say to the teacher, if you are going to um, use technology in your student, especially for young learners, elementary school, elementary students, because their uh, body inside, the organ is still increasing, developing. And we can't force them to uh, see the laptop for eight hours until two, 20 hours maybe. No, you can't force them. So you have two limitations. So that's what I have uh, learned. 20, 20, minutes, 20 minutes is the best time for elementary students. Uh, but for junior high school, usually 30 until 40 minutes to use technology if you are going to use laptop or cell phones. But if you are using not that something that uh, give radiation 
to your uh, to students' eyes like robot things. I think that's not a problem actually. But as you see in the video before, that's just a research actually. So uh, the researcher just uh, put uh, the neural the neural detector just take uh, ten minutes just to show. Um, implementation of artificial intelligence in the class because usually elementary school in the first 10 minutes actually they don't um, give the concent uh, concentrate they can't concentrate to the teacher's explanation so that's why uh, usually in the china uh, schools in elementary school and junior high school they put uh, the neural uh, detector but I do agree once again that technology can affect um, the students or the children's uh, health. That's why if you see many of Chinese students uh, use glasses in the young age, right? You can use so many Chinese uh, use glasses in the young age because they are they can, actually you can they are crazy of technology actually because and even can always uh, already talk about the MOC. Massive online open courses. Even the young age, elementary school, junior high school, they are very thirsty to learn. They are having a bit eager to learn. Even though the school already teach them from one, uh, sorry, from AEM. So the school, the job, all the companies in China are starting from the AEM. AEM until 2 p.m. Usually elementary school until junior high school the, um, will be running at a time and they will go home at 2 p.m. But after that, usually they will go uh, learn by themselves. Usually using laptops or watching uh, learning media, making learning media and anything. So please you guys as a future teacher, please also consider the help condition of your students. So please don't force them to see laptops for 20 hours. Just put yourself on other shoes. Okay. Okay? I hope it made clear. Okay. The second question. <laughs> okay. As I mentioned before, and as mentioned before in my last slide, that technology is a tool. Technology can't replace teachers. Why? Because, okay, have you ever seen the Terminator? 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 Movie, a movie. Yeah, I'm not considering. Yeah, Terminator, Terminator. So they are so uh, they are already colonized by the humanoid, the robots. Yeah, Terminator. So I'm afraid we are in the next two hundred years who will be colonized by humanoids. In Finland, Finland is the best education system in the world based on the pro PISA. The visa and Indonesia is the second lowest. <laughs> and the second lowest, it's okay. Second lowest, <laughs> okay. Okay, this is uh, the robots of uh, already integrated um, in the Finland uh, classroom for elementary teacher for elementary students. Let's see first. Okay, so this is the interview from uh, the developer. So you try, she's trying to convince you to use robots. It doesn't love if, if you make mistakes. It doesn't love if you make mistakes. So, how do 
how about the Evangelical teacher? Do you have a long Evangelical mega mystics? Of course, he doesn't get tired because we as a human have our time. Infinite patience. Infinite patience. Ati ati nga kesabaran yang tidak batas. So mau apa kau juga guys? As a mutual teacher. Me, me personally, I have a feeling saya mempunyai kesabaran yang tidak batas. Even the class teacher should go back. You should be open minded about. I think you already got the answer from the PDA, actually. But once again, actually, technology is adjusting to it. I definitely disagree when the person says uh, technology can replace teachers for me. No. Because technology can't touch the student heart. Yes. The technology can't build the student character. The student can't motivate students when they are at the lowest point in their life. Maybe you can like ask Alexa or Google. Alexa or Google. Alexa, please play, please play the group, please play the music that can uh, and make a, a good vibes for me. I'm at the same moment actually. Yeah, is it for you just playing a poetry or any songs, but it can, can it get can it give you can it give you the motivation? No, only the teacher, only we, the human, can touch other heart. Because I I, I have a, I have a twenty like twenty four hours. Ask my teacher. You can't contact me. You have to learn using laptop or uh, any any technologies. But the following day, the students uh, chat me, sir, I gave up. I can't handle this anymore. The first thing, their eyes, their eyes feeling tired. There is there are so many pandas eyes because they are start uh, have to see the laptops. There are so many radiation to their eyes. And also, sir, there is a difference when we just watching the explanation video. That's different when you um, try to explain it. So, whatever the situation, whatever the con uh, condition, the teachers can be replaced to the technology. So, you guys as well, you have to fulfill your task as a teacher. Because, once again, as a teacher, you are not just being a teacher, guys. You have to be a facilitator as well, a psychologist as well, a leader as well. But the robot can't do that. So, that's my answer for this question. Thank you.
I miss, uh, the answer, although is that the answer, Edward, no miss this one. But I would like you to read all, because just now Sir Edward already said that if you just try to talk about why Banuha was going on with you. Therefore, Peter's role still needed to the end of this world. So, I would like to read the audience. You read this one together. Three, two, one. Banana, 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 banana. Huh? After like that, I see pink 
We are going to meet again in further meetings. Yahoo! Yahoo! Uh, baik, sekarang sesi dokumentasi. Kami meminta kesediaan panelist dan speaker untuk berfoto bersama. Like this, eh?